Hi there, and welcome back to Golden Empress Collection. Thank you so much for taking the time to come out and join me. Um, this is just going to be a general reading, no sign in particular. Okay, let's see what we've got going on for you. And if you guys are looking for a weekly reading, make sure you're checking out the description box or the link to Friday Night Love Tarot. If you need to reach me, that information can be found over um, in the description box as well okay let's see what we've got going on for you here this is about you guys taking control this is about making things happen for yourself you know what it is that you're doing um i don't know it's like your attitude right now you're moving towards your abundance aries energy it's just what you want to have happen you're moving towards a situation that is fruitful for you you want something that's loyal something that's blessed here some of you guys are moving towards a situation where you're going to be stable. Um, I feel like this is after a lot of struggling, though. I do. I feel like it's been an emotional journey. It took you a long time to pull out of whatever this is. Yes, but guess what? You're actually finding happiness here. You're moving towards the abundance of liking, you know, whatever situation it is that you feel like you need to be in here. Um, for some of you guys, <clears throat> this is actually, you know, a season, a fruitful season of financial wealth, you know, success. This is pretty much being paid because you're smart, um, knowing that you're making the right choices and you're cutting off people that don't serve you. That's pretty much the kind of energy that I feel. It's almost like you woke up. You know, and, and that's what I'm feeling. You woke up like this, you know, or if you aren't waking up like this, you're about to wake up like this where you have no cares, you have no worries, um, success and, you know, could even be some sort of windfall coming in for you. It's like a financial blessing of some sort, you know, or you some of you all just hit a financial blessing. I will say that I can actually confirm that. And you are now successfully and triumphantly moving forward here. You're doing it. You're, I, I just feel an energy of being successful, being happy. Some of you guys, this is new opportunities, you know, brand new car possibly coming in. But, you know, you're going to have to fight for your victory here. You're going to have to fight for whatever your victory is going to be. This is the opportunity to, you know, hold on to some sort of unconditional loving, some sort of unconditional loyalty here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For some of you guys, I do see some conflict, though. And now that I say that, I've got the Two of Swords. There's something that you're not seeing. And that's why Spirit is coming in and planning on showing you that you need to be using your intuition here. Some of you guys, there's a player energy around you that's in the process of not making a choice because there's a game that they're still playing. Um, for some of you guys, you haven't quite figured out that whoever it is that you're dealing with actually goes and visits their baby mama here. Or they have an energy that they're loyal to that they keep secret. Okay. Yeah. Definitely a player energy here. For some of you guys, it's definitely time to move on. Otherwise, mm, I don't know. Someone's got children. Like happiness moving towards something abundant. I don't know. There's something about children here. Mm -hmm. Investment. There could be a pregnancy. Definitely a pregnancy here. Some of you guys are waiting to give birth. That's coming up. You could be about seven months pregnant so far. Um, you already have children on the way. But this is also just about the ability to understand that everything that you're investing is has been a gift. It's been a gift because of the fact that you shine and you cleanse and you clear the way that you have. This is you having faith and just being optimistic and knowing that your spirits are guiding you in the correct direction. And they're planning on showing you even more of the, you know, the things that you need to know, like the unknown. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. For some of you guys, though, I see someone here trying to plan a, a secret rendezvous of some sort. I do. Okay, let's get some clarification. So, you're, yeah, again, you're moving away from things that were burdening you, very toxic moments. Um, it was actually victory for you. Okay, so we're not even going to, let me let me see. Tell me what this burden was. What, what was the main thing that my viewers were dealing with that they needed to um, get away from that they got away from? You know, let's see if we can be specific. Some sort of relationship where someone was trying to control you and crumb you. Literally, the divine masculine could have been texting their ex, okay? 
Um, it had you on the defense because you knew you were dealing with the player and the person was not giving to you properly. They were withholding in love because they were dealing with someone else. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys, this could have been financial woes as well, but you're moving on. That's not going to be up. Yeah, finances could have been blocked or some sort of relationship was blocked. There was either lack of commitment or there was a lack of job, something like that. Um, and it could have been because of all of the different confusion, but here's the thing. I don't think, like I said, it's not an issue for you anymore because you now have options. Either you're moving away from the person that was trying to hold you back and was lying and saying they had burdens and couldn't give to you or weren't making a decision about you. Remember, we saw that two of swords earlier. I'm telling you. Or you went ahead and got a job. See what I'm saying? You, you got a, a stable job at that, something that allows you to invest and put money in the bank and invest in good times and good future. Any other clip? Ooh, that one all the way over there. Oh, that was a lot. Okay, okay, hold on. I'm glad that that came out the way that it did because it flew across the room, right? That's okay. Can't tell you what it is, but if it comes back out, okay. Strength card is here. The magician. It took it took some time for you to get to where you needed to be. It took you truth and understanding that you needed to have strength when it came to what you were trying to manifest and realizing you have all the tools together to do what you need to do. Okay. Something's ending here. Yeah. What is this? Hold on. Clarify, please. What is this for my collective? I said, don't take that card. I feel an energy here. Of, again, it's a heavy weighted energy where someone didn't it at first didn't want the challenge that they were supposed to put in this is someone with structure and strife right structure and strife maybe that's what was going on here because i'm picking up on five of wands energy here you it, it it's a fight to get to where you need to be okay but listen if you're not going to fight for this if you're going to let other people block you um you know or the the for some reason like if your creative juices aren't flowing properly or I don't know. It's it's all about the way you're thinking. You're not seeing it from the right perspective. You know what I mean? It's because this is moon energy here. There's there's some sort of an emotion where someone is. I don't know. Hold on. Let me see what this is. There's an emotion that someone is being drawn on. Drawing on your emotions, Queen of Swords. I don't know. Why is it Ten of Pentacles? Okay, so it's it's about being organized here. Somebody feels burden and the effort that is required to be put in here, someone is procrastinating. That's what this feels like. They don't want to deal with this right now, but the truth is about to be revealed. All right. If you want your cake, if you want to be a bread maker, if you want to be, you know, not just listen, if you want the money to be coming from you and not someone else, you have to take the steps you need to take to get to where you need to be. I also feel like you have family members around you that try to weaken you. All right. You have you could have some sort of soul contract here with this ace of sword, uh, not sword. See, it's the truth. I'm telling you with this ace of pentacles. I consider that to be a soul contract that could be blocking you from moving forward. It's a burden for you. And so you have to be very, very careful. There's some sort of committed energy that's requiring you to be very strong in the face of adversity when other people are trying to slow you down and the truth will be revealed that this person is trying to do that to you. I don't, for some of you guys, you might be doing it to yourself, but, and you need a little bit of that healing here after an ending. Oh, look, look, look. That's what I'm saying. They're like heal and put an end to whatever this four of cups is so that you guys can have your nine of cups. I, I kid you not. Whatever. Clarify this four of cups. What is this? Either you don't want to put in the effort or there's someone around you that is completely, you know, disgruntled about the fact that you are stepping into the shine that you're stepping into, that you're stepping into the relationship, the new job. There's something there. This is kind of a fear energy where someone doesn't want to be 
I don't know. Either they want to block you or you're just, yeah, nine of wands. You need to protect yourself. Yeah, th there's something else here. This is a fight is what I feel. Stressed out about your, this is a hater. What's the four of cups? I automatically feel it. For some of you, just like an enemy that came out of nowhere. Yeah, five of wands, didn't I say it? I said I felt the five of wands energy and it came out. This is someone who's causing you conflict on purpose. But you're also going to have to push through and understand that in order for you to make this happen, you have to be strong. There's karma. There, there could be some sort of karma that's going on around someone else and you're moving away from that. And that like that family member, that's what I'm telling you about. And now they want you to have delayed success. They might even tell you so. Because they see you glowing up here. Yeah, it's funny. What are they offering? Okay, so we're going to come up here. So th listen, they're coming in to offer you a relationship, but it's a lie and it's deceptive. This is a, wow, this is crazy. This is someone that you trust too. I mean, well, change the card at the bottom of the deck to tell us what else we need to know about what the star energy is here. This is about friendship and socialism as well. This is about the, the people that are around you. See what I'm saying? The people are around you. Who's investing in your happiness and who's not? You're not interested in anybody that's about to be a Debbie Downer. I promise you that. And so anybody that's coming in to cause you some sort of drama with the way that they think. They're trying to manifest negativity upon you. That's what this feels like. They want to manifest negativity upon you. And it's conflict for you and you don't need that. Okay, you got. That's what I said. They keep saying, listen. You can do bad all by yourself. You guys already know I say that all the time. But this is that solo dolo energy. Someone is trying to stop you from becoming a freaking superstar. And they're trying to be shady about it. They're trying to be shady about it. You're on your way. You're doing what you need to be doing. You're going to be extremely successful. Don't let anybody hold you back. Told you. They're, con they're bringing in drama. It's with what it is that they want to say to you. Wish they see you supercharging forward, going fast, going for your wish fulfillment, right? When I, I don't understand why they want you to wait for them to pull, pull out of this energy. But this is someone. Mm -mm. This is someone who wants what you have, and they're trying to figure out how to steal your shine. And it's funny because there's also an energy here where. You know, someone creates burdens for you because you stand up for yourself. And they don't like that. They don't like that. They feel like you shouldn't be able to do that. I don't know. But the thing is, is you're, you're too smart. You're too smart. Tell me about this drama. Anything else? It's because somebody's jealous of you. I'm telling you that you're not giving to them the way that you they want. There's something, there's, they're holding back as well. This is actually a card of holding back like funds. See what I'm saying? They want an offer. They want you to take action and offer them something that they might not even be giving to you. See? They want you to be unhappy for the long term. If they're going to be unhappy and burdened, they want you to be unhappy and burdened. I told you, soulmate contract trying to block you. You cannot make it up, guys. I'm telling you. Long-term lies. Long-term deception here. Tell me about what they need to know intuitively. Give me two more down here. What's happening? Page of Wands. You got to take action. This is that going in. This is that let me be quiet and watch everybody that's around me. Let me pay attention to the moves that are being made when I don't give this energy that people are asking me for. I have to fight and I, I'm going to win. And it's just, it might take me a while, but you're not interested in anybody that's trying to be nosy and reveal your secrets either. See what I'm saying? This is a re revelation here of someone knowing someone's secrets. And you're not interested in the conflict that that would create as well. I feel like you guys, you know what? I Yeah, oh, you can't make it up. I feel like you have someone new coming in and this person is nosy as hell. This person wants to know everything and anything about you. And some of the questions that they're asking, it's like, I'm going to need you to get out of my business, please, because it's things that they could use against you. All right. And I feel like for some of you guys, you need to think about who you're talking to, 
Because if you're dealing with someone that would use your information against you to cause conflict so that you're worn down and tired, you know, and they're stealing your shine, no, you don't need that. That's why they make, they said you need to kind of make plans to keep it a little on the tight lip side. Tight lipped is what I'm feeling with this. Not sharing, kind of rejecting whatever it is that this person is offering. Here's the other thing. Um, for some of you guys, this is a long time. Yeah. This is dissatisfaction that's being like... And I like to say the word projected, but this is more than projection. This is something else. This is stank eye is what it feels like. It's I don't know projection and stank eye kind of the same thing, but this is severe. And I feel like it's coming from an energy of someone who's very egotistical. Yeah, see, look, you can't even make it up. There it is right there. Queen of Swords. Someone trying to steal your shine and make you unhappy here. Someone is unhappy. See, look, there's past energy here. There's a third party energy around you that's mental. Mm -hmm. They keep thinking about the past and now they're angry. And they're, I mean, it's its almost like they, they want to attack, if that makes sense. They're very hostile. They want to steal something from you. They want to steal whatever blessing it is. It could be in regards to a long-term commitment or a long-term love you have with somebody. Maybe it was this relationship that you thought was blocking you, so you learned to let it go. Now this person, because I saw the Six of Cups, is still stuck on you, and so now their third party is angry and projecting hateful energy your way. This is dishonesty. This is a rival. Someone who's plotting and planning on you, possibly through um, a worker. And if they are, I, I want to say that that's stupid on their part because God loves you. So Spirit is trying to show you, pay attention to your intuition and what's getting ready to happen here in regards to your finances and your money. Yes, I told you because there's people that are stuck in the past. Hold on, I saw another one. Where did it go? I think it was yellow. Yep. Knight of Wands. Yeah. In the past, you, the emotions that were taken, right? The drama that came in, possibly from a player energy that didn't want to give or is trying to hold on. If you've got someone coming in to apologize to you, they've got someone on their tail watching everything it is that they're doing. All right. That's just what I feel. Knight of Wands energy. This person can't stop thinking about you. Yeah. And they're coming in. Yeah. They're coming in. The end. Here's the thing. Oh my God. This is kind of like, this is how we all know that things are divinely destined to go the way they're going. I keep trying to put down clarification on the plans of intuition and I keep coming back up here to this energy. Do not allow your strength to be provoked, drawn on, abused, or literally, what do you call it? Um, harvested by someone who's not worthy of it. All right. Hold on to your energy until it's ripe. And when it is, that light that, of clarity that you will be shining about the past and all of the, the confrontation and all of that other stuff that was going on, it will illuminate everything. Okay, These are the words of truth. This is about how you're going to be protecting yourself. You know what it is that you're doing. Do not allow someone else to harvest your energy and wear you out. I feel like you're not interested in conflict either. You also are not interested in the fact that that there's someone that this person is hanging on to. Yeah. Oof. Mm. The, okay. Yes. I feel like because we have dark energy involved now, Ten of Swords, there's something that's getting ready to come out that's going to cause regret for whoever this King of Wands is up here. Excuse me, I can't. Let me get some air. So change is coming very very quickly because this king this possibly fire sign energy or player energy someone that said i'm going to do what i want to do all right tell me what's going on here two of pentacles yes something that's being manifested plans of manifestation yep someone's going to have to learn a lesson here plans of manifestation please be quiet because they have a plan for you judgment victory okay seven of cups 
they're giving you an option here of how you are going to be able to continue making final decisions towards your abundance. You're going to have multiple streams of income coming in here, but you also have a person that wants to come in and reconcile with you. Someone that wants to keep possibly a secret financial relationship between the two of you. But this is also you keeping things to yourself as well. Okay. There's also an energy here of knowing that someone is planning and plotting trying to end your finances here. Okay. They are doing whatever it is that they can do to throw your money down the toilet. They might even be taking their own. I just saw it. They might even be taking their own money, like spell work, and then taking the money and throwing it down the toilet. And that is something very painful. It's very nasty. It's a really disgusting energy. Um, I feel like this person, there's a lot of jealousy around this. But because you are going to be using your intuition about that and know that this person is plotting and planning on you, that is actually going to come to an end. There, see what I'm saying? There's the world card energy here. Um, whatever it is that this person tried to do to you with the Ten of Wands, I feel like you were able to maneuver out of it. You know, and it's and it's because this person sees that you were able to get back on your feet. Maybe they did it to you once already, and you know, you, so you pulled yourself out of it. And now that they see that you're stronger, they're getting ready to attack you again. Okay, because they don't like the fact that you were able to learn how to invest and you restarted or you rebuilt and you're getting ready to reap this really beautiful harvest. So now they're again, they're projecting these words. They're 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 doing whatever it is that they can in secret to block you. They want a final judgment that your finances are going to be cut off here. I'm telling you, you need to protect yourself and take action against someone else's work that someone has done. I feel like they did it a while ago. Do not procrastinate on whatever this is. For some of you guys, there's a relationship here where you're actually planning on releasing it. Um, you will only go back to this person if they've truly changed. And I don't see that they have. I see that this person still acts single and they have third party energies. That's why you're having the problems here because you've got someone else that's spying on this person who's trying to cause conflict to you over this energy. They want you to be in an energy of lack and so they will continue to attack you spiritually. Okay, Even pay for this spiritual work. But I want you to know that whatever it is that they're paying for here, it's all backfiring. And, in, and honestly, what's going to end up happening is um, it could cause some sort of instability yeah, and lack when it comes to the happiness that they're supposed to be receiving. The, the person that's doing this, and I because I feel it, the person that's doing this is mad and wants to put an end to the third party. They're mad that someone else is acting single here. And so that's why the shade is coming. Yeah, it's a lesson to be learned here. It's just a lesson to be learned. That's what I feel. Tell me about this shade that's being thrown. Anything else that my collective needs to know? Is there anything else my collective needs to know? Yep, Spirit has your back. You're not alone. Told you, the world card. The universe is here supporting you and helping you. Told you. And there's reckless magic here. Someone is out of control and doing anything to anyone and everyone they want without remorse. So if someone's out here being reckless... Thinking about you wishing, you know, being nostalgic about your beautiful blessings. They're trying to end it because they are so unhappy that you're stepping into something blessed and beautiful. Yeah. They wanted you to wait. Listen. Listen. They wanted you to wait on them not to make a decision. And they knew that they were being toxic. And this is what they get. Because love doesn't work that way. You know? And so now they're planning to try to hurt you your celebration your positive energy they're putting in work to try to block you so i want you to be safe i want you to be careful i want you to love yourself don't be afraid you know of being just don't be afraid of you know embracing that negative energy that's trying to block you because if you can work with it 
then you'll understand that this person is so unhappy because of your shine and then you'll shine even brighter and put an end to whatever it is you need to put an end to. You know what? And this person didn't want to make a choice about you anyway. They wanted their cake and eat it too. I feel that strongly. That's why they've got this other person, you know, behind them. It's going to be hard work. You're going to have to do what you need to do. Whatever it is that you're investing in, please know that you do have competition out here. Okay? I love you guys. Peace and love,